crazy facts about dictators. When the BBC journalist John Simpson interviewed Libyan leader Colonel Gaddafi, he noticed that during the 40 minute conversation, Gaddafi was smiling and consistently moving around on his seat. After the interview ended, a BBC cameraman spoke to Simpson and said, did you hear Gaddafi farting? Upon listening back to the tape, Simpson noticed that the dictator had been loudly breaking wind during the entirety of the interview. In 2012, after the Belarusian dictator Alexander Lukashenko was criticized by the openly gay German foreign minister, Guido Vestavella, who stated that Lukashenko was Europe's last dictator and spoke to the European Union to urge them to sanction Lukashenko for his human rights abuses. The Belarusian president responded by saying, it is better to be a dictator than to be gay. Sapa Murat Niazov, the mad dictator of Turkmenistan, banned all news reporters from wearing makeup on television, as he thought presenters should appear natural on screen and stating that he found it difficult to tell the male and female anchors apart. He also ordered that each broadcast start with the reporters pledging that their tongue would shrivel if they slandered the country, the flag or the president. Crazy facts about dictators. According to an article in ESPN.com, during the 2010 World Cup, the North Korean football coach claimed in an interview that Kim Jong-il gave in-depth guidance and regular tactical advice to him during matches using mobile phones that were not visible to the naked eye, a technology that supposedly Kim Jong-il was said to have developed himself. That's a bunch of bullshit. Francisco Ngama, the mad dictator of Equatorial Guinea, had a collection of human skulls that he would worship to help him accumulate more power, as was traditional in the Fang religion of which he was born into. He was also known by his servants to request that they would lay a table for him for multiple guests before sitting alone and having imaginary conversations with the dead. According to the journalist Shiva Balagi, when Saddam Hussein was a child, he had a major problem with authoritarian teachers. So much so that to get revenge on one teacher he despised, he once pretended to give the teacher a hug and whilst embracing Embracing the teacher, he snuck a snake into the pocket of the teacher's jacket. Crazy facts about dictators. During his visit to Italy in 2009, Colonel Gaddafi requested an audience of more than 700 prominent Italian women from the sectors of politics, industry and culture to attend one of his speeches. And according to an article in The Guardian, Gaddafi declared that there is no difference between men and women on a human level. However, later in the speech, he was quoted as saying, why should these women have to apply to the head of state for the right to drive a car, to which the audience applauded. Before Gaddafi continued, their husbands or brothers should decide, which was followed by boos from the audience. According to the journalist, Giovanni Fasanella, the British government helped Mussolini rise to power. Fasanella told the Times that there was evidence to show that the British helped orchestrate the March on Rome, which resulted in Benito Mussolini's National Fascist Party gaining power. National Archive documents show Sir Ronald Graham, the British ambassador to Italy, liaised with members of the march, and the British conservative politician Sir Samuel Hall claimed that British money was used to form the fascist party. In regard to his thoughts on white people, Robert Mugabe once famously said, the only white man you can trust is a dead white man. Crazy facts about MI6. In 2010, the body of Gareth Williams, who was temporarily working for MI6, was found in his flat inside a padlocked travel bag in a bathtub. Members of Williams' family alleged that crucial DNA and fingerprints were removed from the scene. And in 2015, the former KGB agent Boris Karpakov stated that the Russians tried to blackmail Williams into becoming a double agent after Williams became aware of the identity of a Russian spy inside the government communication headquarters. However, there was officially insufficient evidence to give a verdict of unknown lawful killing. On the 20th of September in the year 2000, the MI6 headquarters, known as the SIS building, which has been featured in multiple James Bond films, was attacked by a rocket launcher. The attack was carried out by the real Irish Republic Army with a Russian-built anti-tank rocket. However, the attack caused minimal damage as the building is bullet and bomb proof. In 2011, it was revealed that British intelligence officers sabotaged the launch of an Al-Qaeda English language website by swapping a 67-page instruction manual on how to build a bomb with a recipe for making cupcakes. Crazy facts about dictators. On an evening in 1944, Maria Udina, who was Stalin's favourite musician, performed Mozart's Concerto No. 23 for piano with an orchestra. Stalin, who was listening to the concert on the radio, called into Radio Moscow to demand a recording. And fearing for their lives, the station agreed. The only problem was, the station hadn't been recording the performance. In a panic, the station owners summoned Udina and the orchestra to re-perform the composition in the exact same way they had earlier that night. Two conductors wilted under the pressure and couldn't continue until finally, after a third was found, the recording was complete and sent to Stalin. However, according to the memoirs of the composer Dmitry Shostakovich, Udina did not display the same nerves as the conductors. After she received a letter from Stalin containing 20,000 rubles, she sent the most deadly man in the Soviet Union a reply that read, I thank you for your aid and I will pray for you day and night and ask the Lord to forgive your great sins before the people and the country. The Lord is merciful and he'll forgive you. I gave the money to the church that I attend. The recording of Udina was playing on Stalin's record player when he died. 
crazy facts about the CIA they gave Viagra to the Taliban to help maintain mutually beneficial relationships with local chiefs in the disputed regions of Afghanistan. The CIA was originally bribing the Afghan chiefs with large cash payoffs or weapons. However, the chiefs would spend the money in lavish ways, giving themselves away as informants, and eventually the importing of weapons into the region became more of a hindrance than a help. So in an effort to maintain relationships, the CIA gave the aging men pills that would help with their libido as payoffs. Crazy facts about dictators. In 1975, after the bloodthirsty dictator Mengistu Haile Mariam overthrew the Ethiopian monarchy in the violent Derg revolution which ended the century-old monarchy of Emperor Haile Selassie, whose bloodline was believed to go as far back as King Solomon and he was revered as a god incarnate by the Rastafarian religion. It was believed that Mengistu had the emperor assassinated, although there were various accounts of the emperor's death. However, after his passing, the whereabouts of the emperor's body were officially unknown for almost 20 years, until 1992 after a tip-off from an Ethiopian military officer that came after Mengistu himself was overthrown in 1991. The remains of Emperor Haile Selassie were finally found, buried beneath the office of Mengistu Haile Mariam in the National Palace. It is rumoured that the desk in which the dictator worked upon was placed directly over the body of the emperor. A state-run Ethiopian radio station stated that the reason why Mengistu chose this site was to see that the body did not rise from the dead. Haile Selassie's remains were later moved by request of his family to a church. Crazy facts about dictators. According to a former advisor, Colonel Gaddafi once tried to arrange a marriage between his son and one of Vladimir Putin's daughters, with the intention of strengthening ties between Libya and Russia. According to the advisor, Gaddafi talked about it with Putin, proposing his son as a future son-in-law, but the Russian president was taken aback and said that his daughter did not know Gaddafi's son. In 2016, the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, the self-styled last dictator of Europe, met with the ever-youthful action star Steven Seagal, who has family links to Belarus. The star said he had long dreamed of meeting Lukashenko, and whilst being greeted by the dictator, Sagal was presented with two watermelons and a carrot, which Lukashenko insisted that Sagal eat, saying, eat to your health, it is very good for you. Hastings Banda, the mad dictator of Malawi, banned men from having long hair or beards. Any man displaying long hair could be seized by the police and forced into having a haircut. In the 1970s, tourists entering the country were even informed that the entry of hippies and men with long hair and flared trousers was forbidden. Crazy facts about dictators. According to Sean O'Shea, who guarded Saddam Hussein, whilst Hussein was detained and awaiting trial in 2003. One day during his detainment, Saddam Hussein, who was an avid gardener, was outside cleaning the grounds of his yard with a hose. The water from the hose managed to get inside the cracks in a tube of electrical cable. The cable began to short circuit and smoke. Sean was sent to speak to Saddam, and as he was walking in the yard, he was suddenly grabbed by Hussein. In a panic, he turned around and cocked a fist ready to hit Hussein in the face. But before O'Shea hit Saddam, he shouted, No, 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 look, I've saved your life, I've saved your life, and pointed to the smoking cable which was only a few steps away from where Sean was standing. Saddam was reportedly amused by the event and for weeks after would continue to tell anybody who would listen that he saved O'Shea's life. Disturbing facts about the British Empire. It is estimated that 165 million people died under British rule in India. That's more than the combined number of deaths that occurred during Stalin's Soviet Union, Maoist China and the German Holocaust. Life expectancy in India declined from 26.7 years to 21.9. According to the historian Robert C. Allen, Indian living standards prior to British rule were on par with the developing parts of Western Europe. But during British rule, poverty rose from 23% in 1810 to more than 50% in the mid 20th century. Crazy facts about dictators. When US troops raided the palace of Saddam Hussein's son, Uday Hussein, one of the soldiers moved a concrete stone and pulled out a metal case. The case contained $4 million and as the troops continued searching, they found case after case hidden in the walls of the palace. All told, the troops found $650 million, which was airlifted to Kuwait for safekeeping. When Colonel Gaddafi visited Rome, in 2009, he pinned a picture on his jacket of the Libyan national hero, Omar al Mukhtar, who led an uprising against the Italians in the 1920s and 30s. The photograph depicted the Libyan hero in chains being arrested by Italian colonial authorities before his execution. He also brought al Mukhtar's son to Italy for the visit. The late dictator of Burundi, Pierre Nukurunziza, was famous for his love of football and regularly played for his team, Hallelujah FC. After playing a game against the team in the northern town of Karimba, he placed the manager and the assistant manager in prison for allowing their players to foul him, citing a conspiracy against the president. 